it's time to talk about AKS networking and the very first thing that we are going to discuss uh, since it's a AKS series so we're not focusing on a uh, Kubernetes exactly but all the AKS components so we are going to talk about here AKS network models but don't worry we'll be talking about the Kubernetes maybe a later in this series or maybe a different series but for now let's focus on AKS and AKS offers uh, two different network models as you can see right now on my screen this is what I was preparing and that's how it looks like KubeNet networking and Azure CNI networking these two kinds of network models are offered by AKS okay and you can create both as per your need because both have uh, some different kind of uh, approaches or scenarios to cope up with so let's see what are these network models this is just an overview video then we'll uh, pick each one of these and uh, talk about in detail and perform the demonstration like the usual way overview theory and the demonstration so let's let's talk about the kubenet networking in comparison with a azure cni networking kubenet networking is also called basic and azure cni is also called advanced okay it is basic because whenever you go ahead and deploy a kubernetes cluster it is the default AKS configuration this is the default AKS configuration you do not explicitly go and uh, define network plugin as kubenet but you can but when you go ahead simply on the Azure portal you click on uh, create a kubernetes cluster this is what it does at the back end and you can also check and when you define explicitly you can also deploy AKS cluster by defining network plugin as kubenet but if you talk about Azure CNI it's not a default configuration but you need to deploy it explicitly while you deploy your Azure AKS cluster you have to mention that you're going to use Azure CNI as a network plugin okay because both has a different way of configuring a cluster that we see uh, in the next point for example if we talk about kubenet networking here it's nodes get IP from Azure virtual network what it means let me try to uh, draw something here which would help us let's suppose this is the AZ VNet and this is a node uh, let me no not this one where it go where is this okay right here this is our node and let's suppose inside the node here our pod is running okay now this node have the IP address coming from Azure virtual node okay that's what it means nodes get IP from the Azure virtual network this node is getting IP address from the Azure virtual network just like we spin any other Azure virtual machine and it picks the IP address from the Azure virtual network subnet that's what it means but it's not the case with the pod because if you go and check the next line what it says it says Pods get IP from the logically different IP address space than Azure Virtual Network. You know what that means? That means if the if Azure Virtual Network 
IP address, let's suppose is x dot y dot z. Okay, just assume, but pod will get an IP address from a different set of like a dot b dot c. Okay, I know it's a four octates like a b c d like 10.0.0.0 but just to understand it has a different address space and it would have a different address space that you can define explicitly while deploying your azure cluster the whole point is pod would have a different address space as compared to azure virtual network what that that what that means that means pod cannot talk to the any other node which is there inside the virtual network let's suppose there is one more node here right here okay come on don't play so this part would not be able to talk to this node or because node or the virtual machine let's not say node you'll get confused let's put azure resource here like a vm okay right now it would not be able to talk to this vm because both are the different address spaces right cool all right so that's what it means pod gets the ip logically different ip address space than azure virtual network in case of this kubenet networking okay but this is not the case in Azure CNI. In Azure CNI, we have pods get the IP address from the Azure Virtual Network subnet. Means this would be a part of X dot Y dot Z, right? And this pod can easily go and talk to this Azure resource or this VM easily because they all belong to the same virtual network, right? Now, so this part is done, completed. We understand the node IP in uh, KubeNet, pod IP in KubeNet, same goes with the Azure CNI. Now the next point, net configured for pods communication with Azure resources. Now let's get back to a.b.c means the KubeNet means the different logical uh, IP at the space for the pods in the kubenet networking then how come it gonna talk to azure resource network there is something very interesting happens and we call it net okay so there there is a netting happens means this goes and Netting happens on the node IP address, which is coming from the Azure Virtual Network. Okay, so Azure Virtual Network IP address can talk to each other. So this IP will become this while talking to any other resources. So that's how communication happens with the Azure resources with the help of netting. Okay, A by AYC netting happens. It will uh, pretend or it will look like XYZ, and then they can talk to the other. Azure resources okay here it says source IP address netted to the nodes IP address this is what I just explained then it will go and talk to that means even in this scenario your pod can talk to the Azure resources but netting involved okay and when you deploy your AKS cluster netting and udrs are created automatically okay at the back ends udr is also needed because node has to do the ip forwarding and with udr it can uh, divert the traffic to the relevant uh, subnets or the ip address that you want to but let's see the azure cni what it says in this kind of network model here it says each node has configuration parameter for the number of pods that it supports hence equivalent IP or node reserved what it means it means every pod gets the IP address from the Azure virtual network okay and we have number of pods on every node 
okay by default 110 so in this kind of networking we have to reserve those number of IP addresses for the ports they are running or they are not running doesn't matter on each node okay and each IP address must be unique across the VNet and reserved hence more planning is required that's why it's called advanced networking as well so you need to create you need to think about a virtual network then you need to think about your AKS cluster then you need to think about how many nodes you are going to run on it then you have to think about the different subnets as per the upcoming ports in future because you have to reserve those IPs you cannot use those IPs right and you do have the other resources running in your Azure virtual network as well right so that's why it's a little complicated complex and advanced okay and but the beauty is pods get full virtual network connectivity and can be directly reached through their private IP no netting is required so that's the beauty the point is in kubenet you would have so many uh, there is no uh, you know issue with the IP addresses you would have plenty of IP addresses to cater your need but that's not the case with the Azure CNI okay so if you have to worry about the IP then always go for the kubenet this is also default configuration basic configuration and always recommended okay but you want you have no issue with the IP and you want uh, simple and the port to port communication and things like that then go for the Azure CNI okay it requires more IP address spaces okay but it gives you full virtual address connectivity to your pods okay all right well this is a basic overview of the AKS network modules that we have kubenet and Azure CNI and there is a Microsoft documentation link I'll share in the description box where uh, you can go ahead and check the capabilities that both provide for example if I uh, try to cover a few of them for example uh, if you want to deploy a, a AKS cluster in existing or a new virtual network you can do with the kubenet and Azure CNI both but if it is deployed with the help of kubenet you need to apply the UDRs manually okay and which is very important if for the communication purpose right now in both the scenario port to port connectivity is supported okay now port and VM connectivity this port talking to the Azure virtual machine in the same virtual network it works when initiated by the pod in case of kubenet because netting is involved for him for this machine it will look like this node but actually it is coming from here okay it only works when initiated by the pod but in case of Azure CNI since at the same IP address same virtual network it works both ways right now let's suppose pod is talking to the virtual machine not in this virtual network but there is let's suppose one more virtual network like this okay and these are peered these two virtual networks are peered in that situation same thing happens in case of kubenet it works only when the pod tries to talk to it not the other way around but in case of Azure CNI it goes both ways same thing happened with the on-premises trying to access with the help of VPN or express route if it is initiated from the pod it can go ahead and talk to the on-premises but in case of Azure CNI it goes both ways okay all right so uh, both network uh, kubenet network and Azure CNI supports default Azure DNS and the private zones and both supports the uh, Kubernetes services like load balancer service or app gateway or ingress controller 
so this is all about like what they support and how things happen and thank you for watching in next video we'll go and try to demonstrate the kubenet networking and you have a good day bye bye